Hello again, uh, today I would like to show you how to be anonymous using Kali Linux to make sure you don't get in trouble while you do um, I'm not, you know, some interesting stuff Alright, so the first thing we want to do is what you want to do is go on Google or whatever, whatever you have, I don't really care Just browser, right? Go on GitHub and go on Overdogen Who Am I Project So if you just go on DuckDuckGo You just do um, Cali, who am I? Overdogen, who am I? Project, and as you can see, two seconds. I need to switch for, switch off my VPN because there's an important, actually, important um thing. You either use a VPN, which I do not suggest, because you'll get caught if you do anything illegal by an accident. However, if you do your tour through Cali, who am I? Project, if you route your connection through Tor, you won't get caught because it's 99 more percent difficult to get you caught unless you connect a honeypot and it's a different story so if you go on this and um, now if you already have installed or you need to what i would suggest is just run this command in your terminal right and then run this command it just downloads it it might not work if it doesn't work you just copy this and put in your console terminal and just sudo make install. Now what you might do is make go to CD Kali who am I to make it make sure it installs and that should be you. And also by the way I've just noticed that if you um are using Kali Linux who am I project I actually have a good news for you there's a new integration and a new update for Kali who am I it'll be released in June or July, I just, I guess it'll be July because it's already end of June. The time's flying, by the way. <laughs> um, so, yeah, the guy says, Umer Dogan says he's, you know, the, the project is worth the wait. So I want to see actually what changes. I hope something good. Right, anyways, so I'll show you how to actually run the Kali Hamai now. Right, now it's actually very, very easy to run it. So what you do is just sudo Kali Hamai start and you just put your password in i hope i know my password nope let's try this password yes okay so as soon uh, now for you it might be a different window because the first time i launched kali on a new virtual machine Kali, sorry who am i sorry i'm getting mixed up the first time i launched who am i um it was a different window. All you do is just press enter, enter, and it will launch this. It should at least through. If you actually are using Who Am I? I there's the all they're asking is just to subscribe to their YouTube channel. And if you can do that, that'll be great. Also to my channel as well. Right? So let's just do now I will just explain the things. Now this is anti-man in the middle attack. So let's just turn this on. Log killer doesn't have any logs. IP changer, yes. Now DNS and Mac Changer, you can't actually run this on because I'm using a virtual machine. But if you're using or not using a virtual machine, it'll work for you. Now time zone changer, yes. Hostname changer, yes. Browse, browse browser anonymization, the most important, yes. An anti-code boot. I'm not sure what that does. I think what that happens is it prevents maybe your computer being turned off because code boot. I think that what does it doesn't matter, right? And when you press all the one to nine, one to nine, you just press enter, and you just, as you can see, everything's turned on, and the DNS changer is not allowed. It's not available because if you're using a virtual machine, and the virtual machine detected, that's why you can't have a MAC address changer, right? So if you launch a new Kali, sorry, if you launch a new virtual uh, command prompt, maybe it's not working. Or I need to... Right now, there's important information. As soon as you turn it on, your connection is going through Tor. Right? I'll show you in a minute. It does go through Tor. As you can see, I have a DNS, right? So how do you actually check if this is working? You go to DNS leak and you do extended test. As you can see, I'm, it says Czech Republic. Well, I'm definitely not in Czech Republic. I can tell you this. And you just do run an extended test on DNS leak test. And it, it says... I'll show you in a minute. There's also another option to actually hide your DNS. 
Now you can use proxy chains as well, which we'll show you in a minute how to run proxy chains. However, I don't like proxy chains because um, what you have to do for everything you do, you need to do proxy chains, right? Which it's a bit annoying because what happens if you forget and then you run something, right? You're not supposed to run <laughs> and that gives you in trouble. That's why I run. Well, as you can see in Netherlands, I'm definitely not in the Netherlands. And sometimes now what happens is your connection actually is being sort of rotated, which means that like in 15 minutes, I might be in America, I might be in Netherlands, I might be in Russia, I might be in Poland, right? There's a, no, actually not in Russia, sorry. Russia doesn't, Russia's banned in, Tor, Tor is banned in Russia. So you won't be in Russia. But basically you can have your IP address rotated, it's being rotated every couple minutes. It's running a VPN, because basically what you do if you, yeah, it's just the same thing. I'll show you in a minute, maybe. I'll, maybe the IP address will rotate. Um, what happens is, if you're using a VPN, which I do not recommend, either use this or this. As I said before, don't use a VPN for anything you're not supposed to use. And if you use a VPN, what happens is your connection will go to your for your ISP provider, uh, sorry, your VPN provider, which means you basically, if anything happens, they will contact your VPN provider and you're gonna get caught. And that's no good, right? That's why I recommend actually using uh, Kali here, my. And there we go. So if you're connected to a VPN uh, and any of the servers are not listed by the VPN service, so for example, if you use NordVPN and the NordVPN servers are not listed here, that means you have a DNS leak and you are be you can get caught, right? Which I suggest also. If you use this, now the reason how do I know this is real? Well, this is basically run by an IVPN. It's one of the privacy guys that are, you know, they have a free VPN. I think it's free. Basically what they do, they're protecting free privacy. As you can think, already my IP address changed or my IP address is just a bit different. Let's see. No, it's just, it's being rooted. That's why it's just different. Right. So, right. Um, so you can use this VPN as well. I think actually this is, it's sort of the same thing if you were to use this, I think, but I think you have to pay for this. As you can see, they have good, good features as well. Um, and they have anti-trackers and stuff. So if you, if you want, you can use this, right? I right. So we have to do is actually to access, um, proxy chains. Actually, can I go to Etsy? Sessions4.com. Oh, uh, sorry. Let's see. Yeah, so uh, they are CD proxy chains for. Oh, so basically, we have to just find proxy chains, right? But maybe not that easy because there's a lot of stuff. Okay, so uh, basically there's a couple commands you need to put in to actually make yourself secure using proxy chains. I sort of don't like proxy chains because for every single command, so for example, I'll just show you a demonstration. So if I want to write example, I want to use Mozilla and be anonymous, so you need to do proxy chains, Firefox. And then the reason I don't like doing this, it's because it's basically what happens if you forget and you run a command you're not supposed to. That's why I don't like using this, so I'll just show you. I'll show you how to do it, it's up to you what you use, to be honest. I suggest using Kali here, am I? Because it's a bit easier and you don't need to worry about, oh, I forgot to run proxy chains, right? So the first thing you need to do is basically, um, it should be the same for you. If you uh, have Kali, you already should have proxy chains installed. So if you just, do, even if you don't know, it should be proxy chains for. Or if you go to CD Etsy and you do where is proxy chains or for basically it should it will be in the same it worked a second ago I don't know why it's not working now <laughs> not working now uh, so it'll be the same for you so basically Etsy you can do DR and I'll show you it's right here somewhere 
proxy chains, proxy chains. It's just somewhere here, right? It doesn't matter. So if you do just sudo nano proxy chains 4.conf administrator and uh, no. Okay, I need to open it again because I have two files open at once. That's why it's a bit actually let's just close this as well. So CD Etsy sudo nano proxy chains for there we go now for some reason no yes okay there we go there's just had two files open that's why uh, so basically as you can see there's some options uh, there's the dynamic strict and random now the one i'll be using is just random because it's the best i think now for the most security is strict secure strict means that if one proxy is dead, it won't work. Dynamic dynamic is, as you can see, each connection will be done via chained proxies. All proxies changed in the order as they appear in the list. At least one proxy must be online to play in the chain, which means it just, if you have three proxies, at least one needs to be online and the other way, the other don't need to be. But if you use this, it's the least secure because what happens? is if you do something there's only one proxy defending you which is bad but if you were to have like example strict i think the maximum is six chains that's pretty secure because there's no way someone's gonna find you right six six proxies is a lot no one's gonna find you no chance 99 percent. i can guarantee you no one's gonna find you now no that's not an invitation to do anything illegal i'm just telling you i'm just telling you the truth Random, random, I think is the best because it's random. London proxies, you would probably not use the same proxy they've used before. And this is the new one, one the newest one, Round Robin Chain. I don't know what this is, I'll just leave it out of the way now. To make yourself secure, you need to go down, 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 down. Let's just go down to the bottom. It shouldn't take long. As you can see, I'm using... You can pair in proxies, I'm just going to use the normal Tor ones. So SOX4127001950 and SOX5. Now we need to notice that SOX5 is better than SOX4. So 127001950, right? That's all you need to know. Once you're done, Control S, leave this, and basically that's sort of you're done now. There's one more command you need to do, it's sudo systemctl start. For service now for me it's already started so i might get an error message nope now what you can do is also check and make sure it's working status for service as you can see it's uh, working yep it's working actually tells you status success and stuff like that right um let's just leave this actually i'm just gonna leave this for now now to run this we need to do proxy chains, Firefox, for example, Firefox, right, whatever you want, and see when you run the command, it tells you, it tells you what you're doing, so you know that your proxy chains, as you can see, random, 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 everything's going through the tour, which makes you invisible, right, we're just going to run, run another D DNS leak test, as you can see, Germany, I'm not in Germany, I can tell you, extended test, let's let it run, now, the, I've noticed that proxy chains are a bit, I think, slower, which may make a bit more secure than Kali, who am I, but I can guarantee you that uh, I've still not, have not had a knock on my door from the police, so I think I'm okay. Now, however, if you're really, really scared for security or whatever, you might use proxy chains. That might be the most secure version, but I use Kali because it's just more better for me, right? Um, Yeah. Just make sure that you're not connecting to honeypots and stuff because if you connect to a honeypot you can get caught and it's quite easy and there's a big a number of honeypots on the dark web and stuff by the fbi and the cia and whatever right so i hope i have helped with something today i hope you've learned something and you're gonna be a sensible person online if you can comment leave a like and subscribe that will be very great for my channel i would like to grow this channel and make the internet a bit more secure and see you in the next video. Cheerio.